in many cases uh, it so turns out that uh, in many practical situations require you to find uh, you know say harmonic transfer functions of the form h minus 1 of j 2 pi f s right uh, or in general h minus k of j 2 pi times k f s all right and uh, so what is so special about uh, uh, these situations yeah it is demodulation right uh, uh, so the output frequency is always at dc right so all right so in uh, in these cases it turns out that uh, you know you don't really need there's a trick you can use you don't really need to find wi wq and you know uh, uh, plot the real part and plot the imaginary part and then do the fourier series and then find uh, uh, the relevant uh, fourier components uh, it turns out that uh, there's a shortcut and uh, 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 that is the following. So, basically if you put e to the j to I am going to do it for the uh, case where uh, k equal to minus 1 uh, and then you can easily generalize it to uh, other parts. So, if you put e to the j 2 pi f s times t what will you get uh, you have this L p t v system here what will you get at uh, the output I mean or uh, rather let us say we put cos 2 pi f s times t what will you get at the output see our, our standard way of doing this is to do is to uh, excite it with cos 2 pi f s t sin 2 pi f s t and then uh, get w i w q and do all the math right. So, what is w i now? This is nothing cos 2 pi is nothing but half of e to the e to the j 2 pi f s times t plus e to the minus j 2 pi f s times t correct and this is 1 over 2 j e to the j 2 pi f s times t minus e to the minus j 2 pi f s times t. So, what will we get here? You will get half times h h minus 1 of j 2 pi f s and ah, you will get half h plus 1 of minus j 2 pi f s correct because this is getting translated 1 f s below and minus f s will also cause remember multiple input frequencies can translate to the same output frequency when you have an L p t v system correct. So, e to the plus j 2 pi f s t uh, you know will come out as d c through a gain h minus 1 of j 2 pi f s right and he, uh, e to the minus uh, j 2 pi f s will uh, will get translated by by plus 1 to get get up to d c does it make sense all right and uh, what is so special about uh, these two quantities
what comment can we make about uh, h minus 1 of j 2 pi f s uh, and uh, h 1 of minus j 2 pi f s. that the complex conjugates of each other. So, h 1 of uh, uh, h 1 of minus j 2 pi f s is nothing but h minus 1 of j 2 pi f s times uh, star. So, therefore, when you add these two what do you get? You basically get real part of h minus 1 of j 2 pi correct and what will you get? Uh, uh, so, this will be the component of w i of t at at d c. All right and what about uh, uh, what will you get here? You get W q will uh, the D C component of W q will be it is 1 by 2 j times h minus 1 of j 2 pi f s minus 1 over 2 j h 1 of minus j 2 pi f s right and that should give you is the imaginary part of h minus 1 of j 2 pi f s right. So, if you are only interested in finding uh, and you know likewise uh, if you wanted to find h minus k of j 2 pi k f s right uh, what will you do? I mean well you get the same uh, though the only thing that will change is that this h minus k of j 2 pi k f s and h plus k of minus j 2 pi k f s and uh, you know you will get uh, exactly uh, uh, the same thing right. So, what is the uh, moral of the story therefore? If you want to find h minus 1 h minus k of j 2 pi k f s what should you do? It is nothing but yeah it is the d c component of w i plus j times d c component of w k. All right. So, let us get back to our system here. This is w i and w q. So, what is uh, uh, h minus 1 of j 2 pi? What do we need to do? What do we need to do? W yeah, what is the average value of W i of t? Minus half, right? Okay, so and this is nothing but the average of W i of t, and uh, what is the average value of uh, uh, W q of t? All right. So, uh, and uh, what should you expect to see uh, for h minus 2 of j 4 pi? You 
you would put in what do i mean what frequency are we putting in 2 hertz yeah so basically uh, uh, you would then get wi would be you would have two cycles here i mean you will have one whole cycle in half clock period and it will be it will stay like that okay and the sign would be you would have one whole cycle like that and then stay like that so what would h minus 2 of uh, j 4 pi be what is the average of this waveform guys 1 by 2 what about this guy yeah so h minus 2 of of j 4 pi would be all right okay so uh, let us see if that makes sense yeah so h minus 1 of j 2 pi f okay, it is not visible here in, uh, so we calculated minus half plus j by pi right uh, and certainly uh, I think it is uh, uh, checks out and uh, uh, what is this um, this is uh, yeah so h1 of j2 pi f i mean you have to uh, you have to do the math actually and then uh, uh, calculate it but uh, what i intended to say was that uh, if in many practical situations especially i mean the i think you are able to see what the application of this is and this is uh, uh, down conversion uh, uh, to see how much of uh, the stuff will uh, will alias uh, to dc uh, and a uh, simple trick is to you know, for this uh, special case you don't really need to find wi uh, times cos and plus w i mean you don't find the real and imaginary parts of h uh, by doing wi cos uh, plus wq sin uh, and the other one and then uh, you know expand that in a fourier series and all that uh, you can simply look at the average value of uh, uh, wi and wq and that will give you uh, the h minus k of uh, j 2 pi k times f s. Hmm? Uh, uh, the question is will I be able to do this uh, if I want uh, say h 1 of j 2 pi f s will the same trick work which is so I claim that hey I want to find h 1 of j 2 pi f s right. So, I will look at the output here uh, I look at the component at what is the output frequency now yeah uh, can I uh, look at 2 f s if I know the component at 2 f uh, 2 f s uh, for both If I look at the component at, at 2 f s for uh, at the outputs of both of these guys do you think I will be able to get h sub 1 like what what will I get here at what will the what will be the components here at 2 f s yeah so basically you will get uh, from uh, so you basically will get half times h I will get h 1 of j 2 pi f s that will translate it to 2 f s right then but there is also yeah so basically 
h 3 of minus j 2 pi f s right that will give me the amplitude at at uh, uh, 2 f s and similarly here you will get h 1 uh, of j 2 pi f s and minus h 3 of minus j 2 pi f s. Okay. If the output happens to be d c, then these two are related. We used to get plus 1 and then you know uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, h plus 1 and h minus 1. Right? Now, you do not uh, that does not happen. Correct? So, I mean you have to expand what you get here as As a Fourier series, you will get the second harmonic component, and then you know that will be this, and then uh, similarly, likewise, you get this, and you have to solve those simultaneous equations to get h1 and h3. Okay. Uh, in the it is only in the special case when the output frequency is DC that you know what you get here, uh, these two are uh, related because of uh, uh, mirror symmetry in the harmonic transfer functions. And therefore, you do not really need to do any, do any more work, you simply look at the average value of this thing and you get. Is that clear? All right. 